English giants Manchester United recently splashed huge money to land Danish sensation Rasmus Hoyland. Okay, most people before the transfer didn't know about this guy, but United went all the way to sign him. But why? Is he worth the price? And who exactly is he? And why is he called the Danish Erling Haaland? In this video, we'll be looking at Rasmus Hoyland and his story so far, and how well he could fit in the English Premier League. Since Cristiano Ronaldo left, Manchester United were in desperate need for a new number 9 as the Portuguese transfer to the Saudi Pro League left a big hole in the squad. And despite bringing in Wout Weghorst on loan last season, he was never going to be the right man to fill it. So when given the chance to sign Weghorst permanently, it wasn't a surprise that Manchester United said no. I mean, it's understandable as the Dutchman only managed to score twice in 31 appearances after his arrival at Old Trafford in January 2023. Yeah, twice. This left Eric Ten Hag with only Anthony Marshall to call upon as a natural centre forward. By this stage, he will be well aware that the injury-plagued Frenchman also cannot be relied upon. English star Marcus Rashford is there in the attack and although he scored 30-plus goals last season, he has always been better suited to a wing role than as a central striker. Safe to say, United needed a ruthless marksman up top and were credited with an interest in some of Europe's finest. Ten Hag's initial shortlist reportedly included the likes of Harry Kane, Victor Ossimhen and Randall Kolomouani. But a deal for Kane and Ossimhen proved way too pricey and the Kolomouani links cooled also. Another name was later put in the mix, Rasmus Hoyland. At first, most United fans were confused as to why his name was shortlisted. But looking further, they came to terms that he might just be the striker they needed. After lengthy negotiations with Italian side Atalanta, Manchester United finally agreed to a deal for Hoyland worth an initial 75 million euros plus 10 million in add-ons. He signed a five-year contract, showing that the Red Devils are banking on him becoming their long-term striker. But who exactly is Rasmus Hoyland? Rasmus Winther Hoyland was born on the 4th of February 2003 in Copenhagen, Denmark, and grew up in Horsham, capital region. Hoyland grew up in a footballing family with his father Anders having played as a professional in the Danish top flight, and Anders did his best to help Rasmus follow a similar path. His twin younger brothers, Emil and Oscar, are both footballers with Copenhagen. Growing up, Hoyland played youth football at Horsham, and then played in the academy ranks at both Brondby and Holbæk before joining up with Copenhagen's youth system. The talented forward made an instant impression for his hometown club. At the U19s, he scored 15 goals in his first 22 games. His senior debut eventually came in October 2020 at the age of 17, in a Danish Super League game clash with Aarhus. Hoyland would go on to make 32 appearances across all competitions for Copenhagen, but managed to score only 5 goals. Hoyland then moved to Sturm Graz in Austria for just 1.9 million euros and made an instant impact. He scored twice on his debut for the club and they soon realized that he might just be a bargain after all. Graz went on to finish second in the Austrian Bundesliga behind Red Bull Salzburg with the help of Hoyland, qualifying for the Champions League playoffs which Hoyland scored in their two-legged tie but unfortunately it wasn't enough to see them progress to the next round. Hoyland scored 12 goals in 21 games across all competitions during the remainder of the 2021-22 season and the start of the 2022-23 season for Graz, leading to links with Premier League side Newcastle, as well as Belgian giants Club Brugge. But it was Atalanta who won the race for his signature, as Graz accepted the Italian club's 17 million euro bid at the end of August 2022. Shortly after his arrival in Bergamo, Hoyland was called up to the Denmark national team for the first time in his career. Having represented Denmark for the under-16 to the under-21 level, he earned his first cap from the bench in a memorable 2-0 Nations League victory over France. In Italy, Hoyland scored his first goal for Atalanta on the 5th of September in a 2-0 away win over Monza, but he only started four Serie A games for his new team till the end of the year. He forced his way into the starting lineup after the turn of the year due to inconsistency and injuries to talisman Duven Zabata. The Denmark international scored in each of his first four appearances in 2023. Throughout his time at Atalanta, he scored 10 goals in 34 appearances across all competitions. Hoyland was back on international duty with Denmark in March 2023 for his full debut in Denmark's opening Euro 2024 qualifying clash against Finland. He announced himself by scoring a brilliant hat-trick to help his nation to a 3-1 victory. And he didn't stop there, as he added another two goals in their surprise loss to Kazakhstan on match day two. This was a statement that he'll be a future star for Denmark after being left out of the World Cup in Qatar. 
Rasmus Hoyland was under contract at the Blue and Blacks until 2027, but he wanted to taste the big league, and despite much effort from the Atalanta head coach, he moved to Manchester United in the English Premier League. On the 29th of July 2023, Manchester United agreed a deal to sign Hoyland from Atalanta in a deal worth around 85 million euros plus add-ons. He was then announced officially as a United player one week later. Those who followed Hoyland throughout his career so far would definitely agree that he is a great talent, physically strong and with great speed. He has everything he needs to be great and will be working with the right coach, Eric Ten Hag. A lifelong Manchester United fan, Hoyland is blessed with imposing physical attributes, and he's also quick and intelligent when it comes to timing his runs in behind, similar to a certain Norwegian at Manchester City. Hoyland moves in and around the pitch, but doesn't waste energy either. A lot of modern-day forwards have the tendency to shift into wide areas, but the Dane sticks in the center and works the channels constantly, while saving most of his shots on goal for inside the 18-yard box. He's a natural when it comes to sniffing out chances and, more often than not, has a clinical edge to match his work rate and skill. Hoyland looks like the ideal fit for the Premier League, and indeed United. And with the likes of Bruno Fernandes, Marcus Rashford and Casemiro providing the service, Hoyland has every opportunity to hit the ground running at Old Trafford. Is he another Haaland? Well, it's probably too much or too early to say, but Rasmus Hoyland has drawn comparisons with a Norwegian superstar, although he said he still has a long way to go before being compared to Haaland. But the features are certainly there. Imposing figures, physical attributes, an eye for goals, blonde hair. Okay, that isn't much of a football attribute, but who knows? Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please drop a like and leave your comments below. Also, remember to subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers!